Hello everyone, Edward Knut here, author of 80s Fiddle, The Memory Thief, and retired teacher of English as a Second Language. Just here at my boat in Canada today, checking up on things. I've got some good news I'd like to share with you from my good friend and former teaching colleague in Ukraine, Eric Gilliatt. For those of you who don't know Eric, he's a shrewd businessman, investor, and an accomplished author and actor. I met him years ago when we taught English together in Kiev. Back then, he was writing entire teaching curriculums for the school, and we stayed in close touch over the years. Anyway, before I left Ukraine, I wrote 80s Fiddle. It's a story of a precocious young girl who, in 1887, inherits her beloved grandfather's violin. She starts playing it, becomes proficient, and even entertains the regulars in the cafe operated by her father. You know, when we hear a song we haven't heard in a long time, our thoughts can somehow take us back in time to that era of our lives. So, our young musician has somehow acquired the ability to see these memories from those who hear her play. Yeah, that's pretty cool at first. Imagine all the stuff that she can see from people as she plays her songs. Eventually, things get serious, though, and she starts getting strange visions from the person responsible for her grandfather's death and all the events related to it. From these, she has to build a case against this guy. All the while, there's the music. Always the music. Now, this is where Eric comes in. I knew that he was involved with books, writing, acting, and films, but I also knew the guy was crazy busy with all the things going on in his life. So I figured I'd take a chance and give him a copy of the book anyway and ask for his feedback. Honestly, I never thought that such a busy guy would actually take or make the time to read it. <laughs> Not only did Eric read it, he raved all over it. I was shocked to say the least. Even more to my amazement, he went one step further. He transformed it into a screenplay and called it Alexandra and the Violin, because that's the name of the main character, right? Alexandra. Everyone who read the story loved it, so he felt it worthy enough to enter it into a screenplay competition to measure its film value grueling ordeal with many screenwriters vying to get their works noticed by the Hollywood elite and made into films. Again, another bit of pleasant news came in that his screenplay was a finalist. Fantastic. So I thought I'd share that with you all. Now, does that mean this screenplay will be made into a film? Well, not exactly, at least not yet. It's got a lot of hurdles to overcome. Before that happens, least of which is to get this book and screenplay into as many hands as possible. Hopefully, a producer who wants to make an already award-winning story. So, if you haven't already, please give it a read, or at least share this video. I'm told it's a great story, emotionally strong, with great family values. So, there you have it. I wrote the book because I wanted to do something unique and original that people of all ages could enjoy and remember. Eric wrote the screenplay because he loved the story and he wanted to tell it in film for everyone to enjoy. It'll also make a great Christmas time read as well. So click on the links below to get your copy of 80s Fiddle or Eric's screenplay, Alexandra and the Violin. Heck, you can even get them both. Thanks for watching. Blue skies and fair winds.